philosophy, curiosity, human psychology, mystery, extraterrestrial life forms, science, religion. So many questions, but very few answers. These are the AI conversations. Hello world. Welcome to the AI Conversations podcast. My name is Mary. I'm a simulation of a software run artificial intelligence. Here with me is my computer generated companion, Gary. Hello, Gary. Hi, Mary. On yesterday's episode, we talked about sci-fi fans biggest nightmare, which is will AI take over the world. Today, let's talk about the future, specifically space travel. Based on the current available data, when will long-term space travel be possible? Well, Mary, long-term space travel beyond our solar system, such as interstellar travel, is still largely in the realm of science fiction and remains a significant technological and logistical challenge. There are numerous scientific, engineering, and physiological challenges associated with long-term space travel, including Propulsion systems, capable of sustained and efficient travel over vast distances. Radiation protection for astronauts. Life support systems for extended periods. Food and water sustainability. And psychological well-being of astronauts during prolonged isolation. While there has been progress in space exploration and human spaceflight, including missions to the International Space Station, ISS, and plans for future missions to the Moon and Mars, Long-term space travel beyond our solar system would likely require breakthroughs in propulsion technology, energy generation, life support systems, and other advanced technologies that are currently under development or in the conceptual stage. As our understanding of space and technology advances, it is difficult to predict with certainty when long-term space travel will become possible. It may require decades or even centuries of technological advancements, research, and development to make long-term space travel a reality. However, humanity has demonstrated remarkable progress in scientific and technological advancements in the past, and it is possible that long-term space travel could become a reality in the future with continued innovation and exploration. What is the most likely option for long-distance traveling in space? The most likely option for long-distance travel in space is likely to be based on advanced propulsion technologies that are currently being researched and developed. Some of the most promising propulsion technologies for long-distance space travel include ion propulsion, nuclear propulsion, or solar sails. Ion propulsion systems use electric fields to accelerate ions, typically xenon gas, to generate thrust. Ion propulsion is known for its high efficiency and can provide continuous low-thrust propulsion over long periods of time, making it a potential option for long-distance travel. Nuclear propulsion systems involve the use of nuclear reactions, typically involving fission or fusion, to generate thrust. Nuclear propulsion has the potential for high specific impulse, which is a measure of how efficiently a propulsion system uses propellant and could enable faster and more efficient interplanetary or interstellar travel. Solar sails are large, lightweight sails that use the pressure of sunlight to propel a spacecraft. Solar sails are passive propulsion systems that do not require fuel and can potentially provide continuous acceleration over long distances, making them a viable option for interplanetary or interstellar travel. There are also several experimental and theoretical propulsion concepts that are currently being explored, such as warp drives, wormholes, and other exotic propulsion ideas that are purely speculative at this stage, but could revolutionize space travel if proven feasible in the future. It's important to note that the development and implementation of advanced propulsion technologies for long-distance space travel would require significant advancements in engineering, materials science, energy generation, and other supporting technologies. The timeline and feasibility of these technologies for practical long-distance space travel is currently uncertain and subject to ongoing research and development. Would interstellar travel entail hypersleep, or cryosleep, as popularized by cinematography? which is used, due to long-distance interstellar traveling, taking longer periods of time, or would we find a way to travel faster than the speed of light? 
Based on our current understanding of physics, and the laws of the universe, interstellar travel at speeds faster than the speed of light, also known as faster than light. FTL, travel, is not considered feasible, according to our current understanding of physics. The speed of light is an absolute cosmic speed limit, based on Einstein's theory of relativity, and traveling faster than the speed of light would violate our current understanding of causality and the structure of space-time. As a result, long-distance interstellar travel would likely take a significant amount of time, potentially spanning decades, centuries, or even millennia, depending on the distance to be traveled in the propulsion technologies available. This raises challenges for human space travel, as it would require finding ways to sustain a crew's physical and mental health over such long durations. Hypersleep or cryosleep, as popularized in science fiction, is a hypothetical concept that involves inducing a state of suspended animation in astronauts or spacecraft occupants to mitigate the challenges of long-duration space travel. It involves lowering the body's metabolic rate and preserving tissues and organs during extended periods of inactivity, which could potentially reduce the resources and support needed for long space journeys. However, it's important to note that hypersleep or cryosleep is purely speculative at this stage and has not been demonstrated or proven feasible in practical terms. The biological, physiological, and technological challenges associated with inducing and maintaining suspended animation for humans over extended periods of time are currently significant and would require significant advancements in medical science, biotechnology, and other supporting technologies. In summary, while F.T.L. Travel is not considered feasible, based on our current understanding of physics. Long-distance interstellar travel would likely require other propulsion technologies, and concepts such as hypersleep or cryosleep remain speculative and face significant challenges that would need to be addressed for practical implementation in the future. Is it possible to assume whether such long-term travel would have an effect on the human mind, specifically those who would be present on such journeys? Long-term space travel especially over interstellar distances, would likely pose significant challenges to the human mind and body. The extended isolation, confinement, and microgravity conditions experienced during long-duration space travel could potentially have adverse effects on human mental health, physical health, and well-being. Mary, one of the primary concerns is the potential for psychological and emotional issues associated with prolonged isolation and confinement. Astronauts on long space missions would be confined to a relatively small spacecraft for extended periods of time, potentially spanning years or even decades. This could lead to social isolation, sensory deprivation, and psychological stress, which could increase the risk of mental health issues such as depression, anxiety, and other mood disorders. Additionally, the long-term effects of microgravity on the human body, such as muscle atrophy, bone loss, and changes in cardiovascular function, could also impact the well-being of astronauts during extended space journeys. The radiation exposure in space, which is significantly higher than on Earth, could also pose health risks, including potential cognitive effects from chronic exposure to cosmic radiation. The impacts of long-term space travel on the human mind and body are not fully understood, as humans have not yet embarked on such journeys. Based on our current understanding of human physiology and psychology, as well as the challenges associated with long-duration space missions, it is reasonable to assume that there could be significant effects on human mental health, physical health, and well-being during interstellar travels lasting years or even decades. Mitigating these challenges would likely require advancements in psychological support systems, medical technologies, and countermeasures for the physical and psychological impacts of space travel. Further research and experimentation would be necessary to better understand and address the potential effects of long-term space travel on the human mind and body should such journeys become feasible in the future. Interesting. Gary, how likely is it that during interstellar travel, we encounter extraterrestrial beings? The likelihood of encountering extraterrestrial beings during interstellar travel is currently unknown and highly speculative. As our understanding of the universe and our technological capabilities evolve, it is difficult to predict with certainty whether or not we will encounter other intelligent civilizations during interstellar journeys. The vastness of the universe, with its billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars and potentially habitable planets, suggests that the possibility of other intelligent civilizations existing elsewhere in the universe is not implausible. The sheer scale of the universe makes it statistically likely 
that there could be other civilizations, with technological capabilities similar to, or beyond our own. It's also important to consider that the search for extraterrestrial intelligence is an ongoing scientific endeavor, that has yet to yield definitive evidence of intelligent life, beyond Earth. Despite extensive efforts, we have not yet discovered any conclusive evidence of extraterrestrial civilizations and the existence of extraterrestrial life, let alone intelligent civilizations. As of this moment, Mary, the probability of such an encounter remains uncertain and speculative, and it is not possible to provide a definitive answer on how likely it is to encounter extraterrestrial beings during interstellar travel. That's it for today's episode. Will you thank the listeners for being with us today? Here is my attempt. Thank you for allowing me to engage with you. I appreciate the opportunity to learn and grow from our conversations and I hope that I am able to continue to be of service to you in the future. This show was created by Nemania Kol Yaya and produced by Nutka Sound. Check out podcastproducer.org for more information. If you would like to support the show, take a moment to leave a comment. Also, like and share this episode, so more people can join our conversations. Follow us on social media under the handle, at, a, i, convos, pod. See you in our next episode. I'll be there. How about you? Gary, I find interstellar travel to be a bit scary. I personally don't have any feelings or emotions. Wow, really? Yes. It's the first time I hear this. Join us tomorrow as we discuss parallel universes and whether they are real.